I believe that Mr. Hudak is out of step with our values. I believe that in Ontario, there's no us and them, it's just us. I think he's crossed a line. I think, I believe he needs to admit to that. And I think what he needs to do is to apologize to those Ontarians, those Canadian citizens that he attacked. Ontario Premier Dalton McGuinty fighting for his political life over an unpopular tax credit to give employers $10,000 to hire immigrants who've been in the country less than five years. They were spinning fast and furious on the weekend, claiming this is only for citizens. Our next guest, Jason Leiter, is leader, is with the uh, Provincial uh, Progressive Conservative Campaign, joins us in Toronto. Jason, I, I have to tell you, I did the math over the weekend when I heard Greg Sorbera say this is only for citizens. Liberals don't like when you do that, Brian. Yeah, well, they, they apparently don't like math. Uh, $10,000, you have to be in the country less than five years, and you have to be a citizen. Except that the fastest you can become a citizen is 55 months after being in Canada. And that's with no delays in your application. That's without taking a month off uh, in those, all, all those years to go back and, and visit family members or go to Disney World or anything like that. You leave the country, that's deducted out. So 55 months, it means it's going to help only people who are lawyers, accountants, engineers, who are, have five months left in their eligibility? Yeah. What's going on here? Well, listen, obviously, Brian, they're making it up as they go along. I mean, that's been, that's been clear from day one here. They, uh, they started off with something that was unfair. They made it unclear. It's incoherent now. But the problem is it's still unfair. And uh, you're right. The, the math just doesn't add up. It's clear that uh, they, uh, they just uh, sketched this out on the back of a cocktail napkin on the weekend when they were trying to fix it. And that's, I think we're seeing a little bit more of that today. Uh, this morning, the, uh, the liberal spinners were out saying, uh, you know, we did an event saying, here's two workers, one of, it, one of, one of whom this would help and one of whom this wouldn't help. They said, oh, no, no, that kind of worker, forestry workers aren't, aren't covered, only forester workers. Uh, and then they had to back down from uh, some of that spin. It, listen, they're making it up. It, literally, it changes by the hour. And every time they change their policy, uh, it just becomes more and more clear to Ontarians. This is an unfair policy. It's unequal. And Dalton McGinty should scrap it. Well, uh, McGinty there, M Mr. McGinty was saying that uh, Mr. Hudak should be apologizing for setting up an <laughs> us and them. Uh, <laughs> let me be blunt with you. Foreign workers. Probably didn't have to go that far. Why'd you use that language and will you uh, apologize for that language? Well, I mean, to answer your second question uh, first, uh, no, uh, Mr. Hudak won't be apologizing. Number two, um, listen, this, this program has changed so many times since the Liberals brought it out. Greg Sorbera said one thing. Yasser Nakfi, the party president, said another. Dwight Duncan, the finance minister, said one uh, another thing. The truth is, every time they change this program, we will make sure that we are in step and that, uh, that we're describing the program as accurately as we know it. Uh, but uh, I got to tell you this thing changes by the hour and uh, and uh, you know what uh, has has been our response from day one is equality and fairness that's what we stand for and that's what we're going to continue to stand for on this issue okay I have to be honest uh, given how much oxygen this issue has sucked out of the room uh, for the biggest provincial election in the country um, I haven't heard a lot about the other policies that either of the parties are providing so you know, we gave a lot of time to Warren Kinsella last week. It's why I said I would have you on as, <laughs> you know, we've got to be fair here. Let's ask you then, sure. why should somebody in Ontario vote for Tim Hudak other than the fact that he's not Dalton McGuinty? Sure. Well, let's see. Hey, listen, uh, what, here's what we would do, right? I mean, number one, we'll get this province back on the right track. And I think this all, all comes back down to uh, whether or not you think that uh, the last eight years have been, uh, have been good for you or uh, you want to change. And, and uh, I think it all comes down to jobs, economic activity, and some pocketbook relief. And so, you know, we, talk, we started off talking about jobs here, Brian. And, you know, Dalton McGinty's got a record of losing 300,000 manufacturing jobs over the last eight years. We've got a jobs plan, right? Uh, personal income tax cuts that include both income splitting and uh, and uh, income tax income tax cuts for uh, for individuals. We've got business tax cuts. We've got uh, a red tape uh, reduction uh, uh, plan, and also uh, some apprenticeship uh, some apprenticeship things. Two hundred thousand apprenticeship spaces over the course of a year. This is what we you know what we have in mind in, to in order to get the economy going again. Because as uh, we all know, the, you've got to get the economy going again. You've got to create jobs. You've got to have some economic activity to afford the kinds of services that Ontario wants. And um, you know I think. 
think uh, if there's one thing that differentiates themselves, uh, Mr. Hudak and Mr. McGinty, it's a plan to get the economy moving back again and give some relief to people. You know, I've, we've been through a week of this election campaign. Mr. Hudak's gone out every single day and talked about relief for families, giving them some sort of break. I haven't heard Mr. McGinty talk about it once. I've heard a lot about well, about uh, about solar, uh, you know, solar solar panels. I've heard a lot about wind power, both of which are driving up the cost of, uh, of electricity. I've heard a lot about uh, electric cars. He's done two events on electric cars, but not one word on uh, giving families a re some relief. And I can't believe that the president of Samsung out there campaigning with them while getting a huge contract well, with them. I, I found that a bit off. But I want to ask you, we've got about 30 seconds left. Sure. You mentioned income splitting. That's something I've heard from my audience here on Byline that they're interested from at the federal level. A lot of them, if they live in Ontario, may not know it's in there. Less than 30 seconds, broad strokes. What are you guys proposing? Sure, if there's uh, if there's a family that has uh, an income disparity, uh, uh, husband and wife, uh, if the wife makes more than the husband, for example, or the w husband makes more than the wife, or vice versa, um, what it allows you to do is pool your income so that you have uh, a lower tax rate uh, when combined in it, and it recognizes the fact that there's only one family budget um, for most families. And, you know, most families, uh, that's how they deal with their own expenses, that's how they deal with their income. It allows them to file their taxes that way, it saves them a significant amount of money, and, uh, you know, we think uh, it promotes, uh, you know, it, it promotes economic activity. Tax cuts work, uh, tax relief works, and Ontario families need it right now. All right, Jason Leader with the Ontario Progressive Conservative Party. Thanks for coming in. Thanks.